Okay, we are going to continue on with more uh, simplifications. This is Unit 5, Lesson 2. And uh, it looks like we are going to be dealing with multiplication. Oh, and a little bit of division. Not a big deal. They're, they're in essence the same thing. And uh, we'll, we'll learn everything that we need to learn. Um, the idea that uh, you have to kind of keep in mind or remind yourself when you multiply. Like here I have... 4x squared y to the third, x to the fifth, y to the sixth, times xy, 20x to the third. Okay, so what you can do, multiplication is crazy, crazy easy. When you multiply fractions, tops multiply tops, bottoms multiply bottoms. So in this situation, you have it simplified and everything. You can just think of this, this thing as being one ginormous fraction. Now, with that being said, what you may need to do is you may need to combine a few things. So, for instance, looking at this numerator, I have multiple x's and I also have multiple y's. And so, because they're multiplying, x squared times x, for instance, Multiply implies add when it comes to the world of exponents. So right here, when I combine these things, I see that there are three x's on top. And the y's, I see that I have four y's on top. Okay? On the bottom, I have the number 20, which I write up front. I have eight x's and six y's. Okay. Now it's not going to look this sloppy because hopefully you can you can do uh, some of this stuff mentally. So here's what this is. Okay, so I have 4x squared y to the third, x to the fifth, y to the sixth, times 20x to the third, xy. So what should your actual work look like? So there's nothing really to simplify right, right here, so I multiply it together. So this is going to be 4x to the third, y to the fourth. The bottom, I have 20x to the eighth, y to the sixth. So I do a lot of that work just straight up mentally. All right. So I didn't cancel anything. I didn't do any simplifications. All I just did is I put the multiplication together. Now, before I start canceling things, this is where you have to state your exclusions. So I see that x cannot be equal to 0 and y cannot be equal to 0. All right. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and simplify. 4 over 20 is 1 over 5. x's are bigger on bottom by 5 y's are bigger on the bottom by 2. So this is a 5x squared, y, excuse me, 5x to the fifth, my bad, 5x to the fifth, y squared, nothing on top, so it's a 1. And that's a multiplication. Next one, uh, let's see if we, we can make, okay, anything like the 6x squared, if it's just, it, it's technically a top, so there's like a 1 on bottom. All right, let's see if there's stuff to be done. Okay, this top I see, I multiply to negative 12, add to a positive 6, so that's negative, excuse me, negative 12, positive 4, so that's going to be a negative 2 and a positive 6. Okay. There's a 6x squared already up here. Okay, I'll just write it again. 6x squared. Okay, on the bottom, I can take out an x squared. Okay, 
and I can factor this to a 3 and a 6. Okay, here we go. So, if there are outside stuff, like there is in this numerator, I move all the outside stuff up front. So it all multiplies together up front. So this numerator outside stuff is a 6x squared. I move that up front, and then it's followed by all the parentheses stuff that I have. Okay, the denominator outside stuff is an x squared. And then I have all the parentheses stuff. Okay, so before I do any simplifications, I have to look for exclusions, which are all the letters on bottom. Letters on bottom, there it's an indicator that it's an exclusion, so x can't be equal to 0, negative 3, or negative 6. Those are the exclusions. Let's cancel some stuff. x squared over x squared, and then x plus 6 over an x plus 6. So that leaves me with a 6, x minus 2, and an x plus 2. So again, things that are just sitting by themselves, it's a numerator. Okay, so what are the things that need to be done here? So uh, the top right, square, square, minus in the middle, so that's going to be a plus 6, minus 6. Uh, bottom right, uh, 30 to 11 is what? Uh, 5 and a 6. Okay, so there is no outside stuff. The top is x plus 5, x plus 6 x minus 6. The bottom, there is no outside stuff. Well, there's a 1, but that doesn't count. And there's an x plus 5 and an x plus 6. All right, so let's get the exclusions. So x cannot be equal to negative 5, and x cannot be equal to negative 6. Let's go ahead and cancel things that we can. So plus 5, plus 5, plus 6, plus 6. And that leaves us with a top x minus 6. Nothing on bottom, so nothing on bottom is a 1. And but we don't, bottoms of 1s you don't really know. Tops of 1s you have to write, but bottoms of 1s you don't have to write. Okay, that's a square square minus in the middle, so that's a plus 2 minus 2. So this top is a 3 plus 2 minus 2. This bottom, there's, notice how there's dual things on the outside. There's a 2 and a 5, so I combine them. They multiply up front. So this bottom out is 10. Okay, so all x's or all letters on bottom have to have some sort of restriction. 
And so this is a positive two, negative two. <clears throat> All right, simplifications. Three over 10 doesn't do anything. I can't simplify three over 10. The parentheses, plus two, plus two, minus two, minus two cancel. So I'm just left with three over 10. All right, so here we go. Those are all the restrictions. Negative two, positive three. Yeah, negative two, positive two, negative one, positive three are all the restrictions. Let's see what we can get here. Minus two, minus two, minus three, minus three, plus one, plus one, plus two, plus two. What do you know? Everything cancels. So nothing on top, nothing on bottom. One over one is the same thing as one. There is an outside X on the bottom. There is an outside X. So before anything gets canceled, you have to get uh, restrictions from any bottom letters. So x cannot be equal to 0, negative 1, negative 1 again, and uh, negative, excuse me, yeah, negative 3. So notice how negative 1 is a double restriction. You only have to mention it once. Okay, cancellations outside of x, outside of x. Uh, inside stuff, one of the plus ones, the plus three. All right, that is multiplication. Okay, pretty, pretty easy. It's, it's very similar to uh, the previous assignment. Okay, division. Division is, as I said, is almost, well, we are going to turn it into a multiplication. 
And here's how. Let me uh, just run through this entire example and I'll kind of walk and talk at the same time. All right, so this first one, we have x squared, 10x minus 24, and we're dividing by x squared minus 144, 3x minus 36. Okay, so this is technically over a one. And I'm going to begin the exact same way as I did before. So I factor anything that can factor. So 24 was a 12 and a two. Um, so minus two plus 12, square square minus in the middle. So this is plus 12 minus 12. GCF out of three. All right, now, so right, right, right now, this is what we have, okay? And so we haven't really done anything. All we did is just factor some stuff, okay? What you need to do right, right now before we quote unquote do the division is take any restrictions right now. So any bottom letters right, right now. So right now, I see that x cannot be equal to positive 12. Okay, now we are going to do the division. Now we are going to do the division. How you do the division is this. You keep the exact same problem. So let me kind of... Okay, you do the exact same problem, but what we're going to do is we're going to turn this division into a multiplication. How we do that is, well, we say this division, you're now a multiplication. Okay, we just, we just say it. Okay, so division is now going to be multiplication. Think of it as a done. So it's now multiplied. But how do we, what do we do? What you do is you take the second fraction and you have to think of it as the top being the bottom and the bottom being the top. So you flip the first fraction stays the same and you flip the second fraction. Okay. So take any restrictions. And then what is this actually going to look like? This is what this is this process actually is going to look like. So the top, right, right now, okay, we turn this into a multiplication. It has an x minus 2 and x plus 12. Okay, that's that first one. Now, I have to flip the fraction, the second fraction. So that means what's coming up is a 3 and an x minus 12 come to the top. So a 3 and an x minus 12 comes to the top. Okay, the bottom had a 1. Okay, had a 1. And it's getting the second fraction gets flipped, so it's getting a plus 12 and a minus 12. So this is now what the division is. Now, after the division, what we do is you have to take restrictions one more time. So x cannot be equal to negative 12. And this is a positive 12, which I've already reported earlier in the problem. So a division, all you do is flip that second fraction. Take restrictions before and after the division. But other than that, it's business as usual. So cancellations would be a plus 12 and a minus 12. And so the result is a 3, x minus 2 on top, nothing on bottom, so a 1 on bottom. With restrictions of positive 12 and negative 12. Okay.
All right, so there's nothing really to factor. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some restrictions. So y cannot be equal to zero, x can't be equal to zero, and then I already have a y of zero, so don't double report it. Okay, so off and running. Nothing really to factor or anything. So I am going to flip the second fraction. So again, I will write this kind of painfully long. So right, right now, the top has a 12x squared y. And the second fraction is flipped, so it is going to get joined by a 2xy. Okay, the bottom is a 5y squared, and it's going to be joined by a 3x squared. So this is going to be 24x to the third y squared. And the bottom is going to be 15x squared y squared. Okay. So the numbers, I can take a 3 out. X's are bigger on top by 1. Y's are exactly the same, so they can, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Where'd I learn how to do math? Before I do that, I have to say any restrictions. X can't be equal to zero, which I already have, and Y can't be equal to zero, which again, I already have. All right, so I take the restrictions before and after. Okay, continuing on. I can take a 3 out, which leaves 5 and 8. X's are bigger on top by 1. Y's are the same, so they cancel. So that leaves us with an 8X over 5. Okay, so let's get the restrictions before we do this division, which again is just flipping the second fraction. So we have to take restrictions before and after. And so I have a double restriction already, but not a big deal. Okay, so right now uh, the top is 7x, x minus 3, and what's coming up to join it is an x minus 7. Right now uh, I have an x plus 5, x minus 7, and coming to join the bottom is an x squared. So I just did the division, so let's get restrictions again. X can't be equal to zero. Can't be equal to negative five, which I already have. X can't be equal to a positive seven. Again, I already have. So the major restrictions are negative five, positive seven, and zero. So you take restrictions before and after. And now let's, let's do cancellation. So outside stuff, the number is good. The X's are bigger on bottom by one. And then I see an x minus 7 cancels. So that leaves us with a 7x minus 3 all over x, x plus 5.
Oh, here we have some cubes. So we cube root, square outsides, multiply to the middle, same opposite, always positive. Can't do anything with that. Um, and then we have like uh, plus one, minus two, multiply to negative two, add to negative one, and then I can't do anything with the six x squared. Okay. So right right now, restrictions, x can't be equal to 0, and also x can't be equal to 0. All right, let's see what happens here. OK, so the top has an x minus 2, x squared, blah, 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 and it's going to be getting a 16x squared. So that's outside stuff. So 16x squared, I write it up front, and then any parentheses that I might have. Um, the bottom has a 64x, and then any parentheses that it might get, and so that would be the plus 1 minus 2. Okay, so I just did the division, so let's go ahead and take restrictions again. Again, I get a zero, which I already have. New restriction is a negative one, and a new restriction of a positive two. 16 over 64, I believe that's four. That's a one, a four. X's are bigger on top by one x minus 2 cancels. So I have an x, x squared plus 2x plus 4. Uh, bottom I have a 4, and that's it. Restrictions of 0, negative 1, and 2. 